Let's come to this now. The Minister of Defence and Military Veterans, Tandi Mudise, is expected to visit the Army Training Centre out in Lohaka, Northern Cape, this morning. This after felt fires claimed the lives of six soldiers there at the weekend. Now, equipment and military vehicles were also destroyed in that fire. But ENCA reporter Boo Lili Twitty Jones is on that story and joins me now, of course, to give us the very latest, but also covering the significance of this visit by the Minister. Uh, Boo very warm good morning to you. I can see you're also en route. But why is this visit important to the Department of Defence? Definitely. We currently are heading to the Lohata Combat Training uh, Camp as well. This is where uh, six uh, soldiers, of course, died as a result of the felt fires that spread across the camp while three were injured. My colleague, Muhammad Sidoki, will show you as we make our way uh, to the camp. And we're currently in a military armoured personal uh, carrier as well, where we will be uh, visiting the site that was extensively damaged by the fires. We're moving, as you understand it, about 70 kilometers per hour gusting through the camp as well and destroying equipment to about 1,300 military personnel who are on site as well. As far as we understand, um, the president has, of course, um, sent his deepest condolences and messages of support to the families who lost their loved ones. And we understand that um, this was as a result of the... Um, training operation that is taking place, the combat training operation that is taking place, it's, it's almost like an exercise which takes place um, to show to where soldiers will showcase themselves about their capabilities. And we also know that some members of the Air Force were also involved as well. Uh, this exercise usually takes about two months and it's called the Fukushima exercise. But of course those facilities have now been destroyed and what we can tell you is that the minister has landed in the Northern Cape where they will be going on site to investigate as well and see um, what transpired. But we also know that there will be a memorial service taking place um, later on today. Also understand, I mean, six lives claimed in that foul fire, but also I understand that not only has the department sent their condolences, but they've further released the names of those who are unfortunately deceased. Yes, definitely. Their names have been re um, released as well. And of course, their, the next question will be the kind of support that will be given to the families who've lost their loved ones in this tragic incident. What I can tell you is that some of the firefighters from the South African National Def Defense Force have been uh, trying to fight and um, extinguish the felt fires as well which have been quite problematic, not only in the Northern Cape, Camelo, but in the Western Cape as well. Um, we've also seen NGOs such as Gift of the Givers, which has pledged their solidarity um, to those who have been affected as a result of these fires, particularly the soldiers as well, by sending in um, equipment and food and other essentials to ensure that they can support them uh, throughout this incident. So, the minister will then outline what's the next step going forward, um, how they will be supporting uh, some of those, of course, soldiers who were partaking in the Vugushoma uh, training exercise as pledging their um, support for them and the, the type of trauma they experience as well. This will all be detailed today as um, the minister will be joined by other officials as well and, of course, members of the SANDF. We know that will be happening in the next few minutes. Uh, we're currently going to the site, the camping uh, training site as well. And from there onwards, we'll be giving you an update as to what happens uh, going forward. We'll be sure to come back to you, of course, as we get those live updates right here on ENC with you, uh, Boo Lili Twitty Jones, because I can imagine for the department, for the minister as well, is to try and find ways to ensure that this tragic incident doesn't happen once again, because one life is one too many. So far, six lives uh, have been uh, claimed due to this foul fire. And we understand the minister, Tandi Modisa, will be, of course, expected to make her way to the Lohat, the Northern Cape uh, Training Center, the Army Training Center where that fire had engulfed and further claiming those six soldiers' lives over this past weekend. But also, it's the equipment, it's the military vehicles that were also um, destroyed in that fire as well in the process. So, once again, as my colleague Bule mentioned, what support uh, will now be offered to the training centre, but also plans to ensure that uh, they continue to keep the soldiers' lives safe.